There will be plenty of screaming on Riverside this weekend. And from Jen, over here to my yes. left, with the roar of F-16 fighting Falcons overhead. The roar of the engine, the smell of jet fuel, the action is at the March Air Reserve Base. And if you've never seen the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, you are in for a treat. That's right. Chelsea Edwards live for us at the base with the preview of the big show. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, these guys are incredible. We're doing previews now. They're kind of getting all the all the aircraft ready. I'm here with Captain Travis Grin Grindstaff. Grindstaff, is that correct? correct? All right. What is it like when you are up there flying? You are inches away from some of these other planes. What is that feeling like? Oh my gosh, it's the most incredible experience you could ever get. I mean, I, I'm a little biased, I think, because we love what we do. But yeah, we're 18 inches apart, going five to six hundred miles per hour. If you love roller coasters, it's like riding a roller coaster without rails. It can do whatever you want. It's a moment feels like you could go to space every single day, except you get to fly over the world and see these beautiful scenes. It's, it's amazing. Wow. All right. Walk us around this aircraft. Now, this isn't the one that you're flying, right? Uh, no, this is flown by number three. So this is going to be a part of the diamond formation that you see during the air show this weekend. Uh, this aircraft is it's an incredible machine. This is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. We like to say that this aircraft has probably the highest thrust to weight ratio in the entire military, which means it's one to one, which means if you start on the ground and you're not moving at all, this thing can go straight up in the air like a rocket. Rocket chip what? and go as high as you want it to go until it runs out of gas. How cool! <laughs> have you ever done that? Uh, we've done it a few times, but we like to save a little extra gas because we have to come back and land. <laughs> sure, of um, but you know, yeah, we have some fun. All right, and this we we learned in the earlier hit. This has a significance, the number, right? Absolutely. So we have six demonstration pilots on the team. I'm the flight surgeon for the team, so I'm Thunderbird number nine. But number one through six will be flying in the demonstration for the entire year. What makes it a little unique for us is that as a flight surgeon, we don't have any backup pilots. So when our pilots are flying, if they're sick, if they're injured, we don't have anyone that's a backup to fly this airplane. So it's this is number you. three's jet. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. All right. Is that nerve wracking up there? Uh, a little bit, but you know, this is our 70th anniversary for the team. 1953 is when we were founded and we started flying. So we've gotten pretty good at making sure that everyone is nice and healthy. They're safe. We train 300 days a year to be able to do this. So we make sure everyone stays ready, fit, ready to go. 300 days a year. Absolutely. That's wild. Now, I, this was really interesting that these markings, they look decorative. They look like they're just decoration, but they're not, right? I mean, these, no. are, these are visual markers for you. Absolutely. So you, we love our paint scheme. Our paint scheme has changed a few times over the years, but we've had this one for quite a few years now. A lot of the markings on the jet that you see, uh, you notice our jets painted red, white, and blue, and we did that for a reason. If we were meant to just be a recruiting tool for the Air Force, we'd blue and silver. That's the colors for the Air Force, but we represent the entire American public. The team was created in 1953 to be able to connect the people and the public to their military, and then we kept this paint scheme because it's so important to us. Like you said before, these visual references will be used in the air. I talked about 18 inches apart. The pilot's head will sometimes be directly under one of these straps. The pilot's maneuvers. head will be under here? Yeah, you could literally reach up and grab the airplane. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. It's, it's like Top cool. Gun. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, the Top Gun's Navy, so maybe we're a little biased toward the Air Force. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> but no, you're absolutely right. The, uh, the flying skill is incredible, and you can imagine how much training goes into that, but I, I gotta say, it, it never gets old. It's so wow. much fun. Wow. And you, you go everywhere, right? I mean, that's part of the, the story of the flags, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a really good eye. So the flag panel up here is all of the countries that we've flown in as the Thunderbirds. It's been a little while since we've got to go overseas just because, you know, we were dealing with the pandemic and a few other things like that. Um, hopefully we'll get to go overseas again in the future. But this just represents all of our allies and all the people that we serve around the world. It's something that we're so proud to do. Wow. Okay. The coolest feature we didn't get to touch on in the last hit were, were the, the jets, right? There's, there's something that makes the smoke white. Absolutely. Yeah. So the F-16. This is a normal F-16. If we wanted to put this thing in combat, we could do it in 72 hours. The one big modification that we make to our airplane is if you see where the gun is, it's actually on the other side of the aircraft here. So the gun is right up on the left side by the pilot. So whenever you shoot the gun in combat, it's right beside the pilot. For us, though, during an air show, we have our smoke oil. So the system that we decided to create was you put a smoke oil canister where the gun would go, and this tube here actually shoots that gas back into the exhaust of the airplane, which creates the smoke for the show. So that's why you get that white, that visual where you can see where everybody's going. Absolutely. It's not only a visual reference, it also just makes it much easier to see the airplanes. We fly within a five mile circle. So you can imagine going out that far, it's sometimes hard to see all the airplanes in formation. So it allows the public to be able to see that precision, even far distances to be able to hit that perfect point during the show. Wow. All right. And this is available to everybody. Everybody watching, this is free and open to the public. Free parking, free admission. Uh, gates open at 8.30 this Saturday and Sunday. Show starts at 
10 a.m. It goes to 5 p.m. Definitely want to pack your sunscreen, though, and your hats. It's <laughs> very, very uh, sunny out here. Not a lot of cover, uh, but really, really awesome show for everybody. You get to see these guys in action. There's also going to be a mock aerial dog fight, uh, a flyby by a B-1 bomber, I believe. Absolutely. Lots to see for everybody. So if you want to come out, this is the place to be. That sounds amazing. Chelsea, thank you for the tour. That sounds incredible. A great incredible. explanation. Yes. Thank you for the tour. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome.